Hey, what's going on guys? We're back with another action figure unboxing and review for you. And we have this DC Multiverse Superman Red Sun version. Um, so he's the Superman that lands in Russia instead of Kansas, uh, United States. So uh, this guy is really cool. I like the costume variant. I'm about halfway through the comic and the movie was pretty sweet too. So uh, I was excited to get this guy and got him at a, a pretty good discount too. Uh, so let's check this guy out. Looks like he comes with a, a set of hands. And uh, you just see uh, Superman there through the window. On this side it says Superman. On this side, Superman Red Sun. On the back, it's got some other figures from the same line. Uh, that action figure wave. And then a cool picture of uh, Superman with the, the Red Sun uh, chest crest logo there. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Uh, pop this guy open and see what he looks like outside of the package. So I forgot to mention he does come with a cool DC stand as well. So he comes with the extra set of hands, which I already swapped his hands out and put a punching hand, a fisted hand in his left. And then he has a weapon holding or a kind of just an open hand and his uh, thumb and index finger are not connected. So you could probably fit some, some weapons in there. And a cool Superman Red Sun card with a description on the back. So you get the trading card as well. Um, let's get this guy under the light and check out his articulation and uh, some of the paint uh, applications. All right, so let's check this guy out a little closer. The head sculpt looks pretty awesome. I like that right off the bat. I think that looks great. You got a little paint mark, something going on here on the chin. I tried to like scrape it off, but. So look, here's his look down, not too far. Would be nice, a little bit nicer to have him look a little bit farther down, but this is look up. That's pretty good. You need that for your flying characters. The way you can look up and fly. Of course it goes all the way around. Get his arms out like that. Of course, they rotate all the way around. He does have a bicep swivel and single jointed elbows with these little clicky ridges here. They kind of click in and out, but single jointed elbow, so kind of missing on some range here for some flex posing. But then down here in his wrist, he has these little pop in peg style hands and, and wrist joint going on here. And of course they go all the way around and then hinge back and forth. Up in his chest, he has a diaphragm joint, allowing him to bend about like that, a little crunch. And you can bend back a little bit, not much, but, and of course his waist, 365 swivel and down to his legs he does have these I'm not a huge fan of these hinge uh, joints but they do allow him to be able to get the splits out pretty far stretch legs uh, but no thigh cut going on there so I am missing that but he does have double jointed knees you can get his leg Back like that, even up a little bit higher, about right there. Let's see, it's range here, you can kick out like that, not too far, could go a little higher, but leg goes back about like there. No calf, uh, swivel cut here, but he uh. His ankles do have the same style joint that he has up here on his wrist. They go up and down, and of course all the way around, and then they do pivot, they do rock back and forth, so. And then he has a toe joint right here in his boot as well. So then getting a little bit closer, we'll check out his actual sculpt here in his face. Looks pretty good, I think the face sculpt looks awesome other than this one small little defect going on here. That's just a pimple. They put that there for, for detail. 
Uh, but the, the tone of his face, you can see on this side, it's a little, got more like uh, rosy flesh tones and kind of makes it almost look, it's got that comic book kind of shading to it. So it looks pretty cool. Um, and the front of his face, the flesh tones definitely match up with his neck and that, that looks really awesome. The skin tone uh, really works for this. I think he looks awesome. This is another reason why I wanted this figure. Just different from your basic Superman. He's got this dark blue look. And I saw some people um, on some comments about the figure and just reading stuff online were disappointed that um, he didn't have the the crest painted in black and I actually had planned on it uh, maybe possibly doing the outline in black or filling the the inside of the crest in with uh, some like gloss black but in the comic for the most part he does just have the red and blue and the black is seems to be just in a few pictures here and there and mo mostly a shading so might not do that I, I still I think he looks awesome um but yeah the paint and that and the crest looks really nice not any crazy uh, paint drips or anything like that going on or running over the edges. The crest is done really nicely. His cape looks really nice. This guy would be sweet with a cloth cape. But this cape looks good. It's not too stiff. The paint on it looks good. Maybe a little bit of like shading down here, but... Nothing too crazy, but it looks really nice. And then down here at the belt. And his waist, got a little bit of red there. And there's a little badge there, a little buckle. And a little bit of detailing, a little bit of lining here for his belt. And that looks good. And then here on his wrist. I love this about uh, this uniform too. It's like really simple, but the the little just the little color here on the belt with the black and the black here making it look more like a uniform military uniform with this these cuffs here which look really cool and then up here we'll go check out the face a little bit closer the eyes look pretty good and uh up here in the hair he has blue blue paint thrown in between his hair and i think that that looks really great and gives it that comic style look as well. So I think that looks really good. And move down to his legs. Just standard blue. Almost looks like a different texture between his thighs and his boots here. Uh, so maybe some more texturing uh, could have been done going on here, but I think it looks okay. I think it looks all right. But yeah, his boots and his uh, down here, his feet and legs and thigh all. Pretty much the same color and texture with that blue going on there. Looks really good. And then here's his extra hands. We can look at some of the paint on his hands here. This is how his hands look. It's the extras. I don't know if I did that or not. A little bit of paint smudging going on there. Some little marks going on, but it's okay. So let's uh, get him standing up with some other figures just for some size comparison and look at him kind of posing with some other other figs and see what he looks like. Measured up and he's coming in at just seven and a quarter, which uh, some of my other McFarlane figures are just about exactly that, uh, seven and three, uh, one quarter of an inch. Here he is next to another McFarlane figure. McFarlane's uh, Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat 11. And here he is next to McFarlane Batman, who is as well is just seven and a quarter and about seven and a half with up to his bat ears. So fits in just perfect with these guys literally just about the exact same height with Liu Kang. It fits in with all of them here. And here he is next to a legacy um, Green Ranger who is six and a half inches. 
So kind of right in between Marble Legends, six inch figures and the seven inch McFarlane. So a little bit bigger than that guy. And here he is next to a Marvel Legends uh, AI Tony Stark with the uh, Tony Stark head from the 80, Marvel 80 years Iron Man. So a little bit taller than him, but still could work together and still be all right. And next to Batman, he fits in perfect. Those guys look cool together. So that is the Superman Red Sun. And then here it is with the Stan. The DC Stan it comes with is pretty nice. Especially for Superman to get him in a cool flying pose. His arm out. And he comes with the extra hands. An open hand, he could actually hold a weapon, and then the punching closed fist, and then two open hands. And the stand, and I got this guy for a pretty good deal, and generally he's priced uh, pretty well. And I think the paint apps look good, the head sculpt is really nice, the articulation uh, could be a little bit better. He does just have the single jointed elbows, but a lot of times, I don't know, I feel weird about these type of peg joints for the hands and uh, ankles, but I think it works for this figure. I like it. I kind of get him in that uh, arm on his hip kind of noble looking pose and, and the hand looks pretty good that way. So I am very happy with this figure. I like him. Um, if you're a fan of the comic or the movie or just think he's a cool figure, I would pick him up. Uh, he's usually priced pretty well. Um, if you like this video, click like and subscribe. Uh, to check out some of my other action figure review videos. Um, there's a link to my Instagram at the end of this video with some cool snaps of this figure. And I've got more pictures on my Instagram if you want to follow me there. But until next time, I will see you guys later.